Hi guys, okay, so today I'm going to do my June favorites, and I have this in this really cute little bin here, and it's got a cute little bow on it, and some apples, I got it from my grandma, so I just like to keep the products that I really like, and I use a lot in here, so I don't have to go searching for them. So the first thing in my June favorites is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I got this really, really cheap, it was some sale of some company, I, I don't know. I just I got it really cheap and it was I just really wanted to try it so these are all the colors and if you want me to do swatches of them then I will but I'm not going to right now so if you want me to just put a comment below because it would take a okay so my next favorite is the NYC boost translucent face powder okay and this I've been in love with for like two years now. It's always been my loose face powder. I've tried maybe like two or three others and I just, I always go back to this one. And it's really cheap. I can get it almost anywhere. Lately I've been having a hard time finding it, but usually I can get it anywhere. And it's just, you know, it's a translucent face powder. It doesn't make me lighter. It doesn't, you know change my foundation or anything it's just a really nice translucent powder and when you look at it it doesn't look I've got a little bit in here it doesn't look translucent but it really does come translucent on you okay so my next favorite is also from NYC and I feel like with them it's kind of like a 50 50 chance if you don't like it some of their products are really really good and some of them are not so this is one of their really good ones now, this is the Abolicious, Abolicious Glossy Lip Balm NYC in the color Pink Lady 353. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I got it for, I think, three, two dollars. And it's got a cute little apple on it, and I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand for you. And it is a really, it's not very pigmented, but it is a really pretty nude color. And it does keep your lips really, really moisturized. So, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. But it's just a pretty, pretty color. Got a little bit of sparkle in it, nothing too much. It's just, it's really pretty and I really like it. Okay. So, my next favorite is the Brights On Schedule Olay Fresh Effects. And I've tried the old, or other Olay Fresh Effects things, and I just really don't like them. But this one I do, because it does smell really good. It's got, like, green tea in it, and it's just really good. So you, it's basically, it's just this, and it's got three balls, and you just squeeze a little. <laughs> and see that liquid comes out, and you just put that, roll it under your eyes, and, it, you know, it does help. So the next one is, once again, Olay Fresh Effects Do Over. And these two are the only Olay Fresh Effects I like. I don't like the other ones. I have BB Cream and I hate it. I'll do, if you want me to do a review on that one, I will just comment down below and I'll do it. But this one, it's really thick gel. And you literally only need to dip like the tip of your finger in there and then dot it on your face. And that's all you need. So this is going to last you a long time. I want to say it's like $15 to $12. But it just, it keeps your face moisturized. It does give you a little bit of like a dewy look. But I usually put it on before bed, so. Next is the Maybelline New York New Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I got this because, first of all, the packaging is so cute. But... A lot of people had mixed feelings about it. So some people liked it and some people didn't. And a lot of people are saying it's a dupe for the poor professional. But I like it. I just, you have to push it into your pores and then smooth it out. It's not really a primer. It doesn't claim to be a primer. It just claims to, it doesn't even claim to fill in pores. It just claims that it's going to, like, blur your pores. So I really do like this. It does do what it says. It is a dropping stuff. It's kind of like a gel. And when you first use it, see it's clear. When you first do use it, let me see if I can show you. It is very oily, but you just it just rubs in. It's clear. Okay, and 
but you know I like it and for six dollars so next is the Joanna Fab Fabuliner Bold Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner and this is the first felt tip I've ever owned so I do have it on now Let's see and it's just basic normal felt tip I don't know I just I figured I'd try a felt tip and I really liked it so this is in my favorites because it's my first felt tip I don't know if there's better ones so don't take my word on this but this is another NYC product and this is the best bronzer ever it's got a cute little sun on it and it's got a really pretty good quality mirror for the price you pay um it's in sunny okay but it just it doesn't look it looks orange in here but when you put it on it is not and it is not too pink either so it's kind of just like the perfect contouring shade for almost everyone especially if you're really fair skinned or light skins like I am this is gonna work perfect for you okay let me see I'll try and swatch a little bit of it and let's see it is not it's right here it is not too orange and it is not too pink it's just like really the perfect shade I just I love it I love it so next is the cover girl ready set gorgeous concealer I saw this and I just thought the packaging was so cute and it's got you know the normal wand and it's just pies like that not too liquidy but it is kind of liquidy but it does have very good coverage if you dot it on I like it this is definitely um, my new favorite concealer so I will be repurchasing this I am very happy with this and I was in shade 4058 I definitely recommend buying that this one is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation I love this <laughs> my bottle's a little dirty but I this is my new favorite foundation now during the day it does melt a little but if you just put a little bit powder on or just don't touch it and let it dry it's fine and it's got the perfect amount of coverage for me it is the perfect color and I can never find the perfect color so I was really happy I can find the color um I'll show you here it is really thick consistency this it's not moving see not moving not at all it's very thick and it blends in so well and the littlest bit goes the longest way it is just it's I love it I don't I'm lost for words this product is so amazing you have to go and buy it. it's five dollars you get one fluid ounce but the tiniest bit goes the longest way I'm I'm amazed and I'm a hundred ivory wipe off my hand for you lovelies okay so the next thing that I am in love with is um, the baby lips crystal and I had it it's in this really cute package here I didn't know they made baby lips crystals because you see the commercials every time and I just I didn't know so I saw it and I was like great I got this before the commercial um, it's just a really pretty color I'll show you it's shimmery but it's not a lot of sparkle don't buy it because it's got sparkle it's not a lot of sparkle as you can tell it's, it's just like a very very pretty color it's pretty pink and I love it I really I really really do like it um I might like the other baby lips a little bit better only because when you rub your lips together it does you can tell there's sparkles in it but I like it it's it's a baby lip so of course I'm gonna like it I'm like obsessed I have five of them but I do really like it it's very cute container very cute packaging nothing can replace my baby lips I love it okay and the last thing in my little container here is the LI covers shimmer loose eyeshadow with brush 
and this you know i got a flower store and you wouldn't think that it would be so like pigmented like the color on here this is bes 403 lollipop and it's just let me tell you this brush not the best but I even blew it off. That is the color you get. And of course it's let's see if I can get it show up. That is the color you get. It is the same color that it looks on here. It is very pigmented. It's got sparkles in it, so that makes it even better. It's pink. And it's just it's great. I love it. And for a dollar you can't go wrong. I mean I'm all about saving money on these and this is just my first loose powder, and I love it. Well, it's not my first, but it's my first one that I absolutely positively love. So I do recommend going down to the dollar store and getting yourself one of these because it's just, it's great, and it comes out the color that you want it. It's not, you know, oh, here you buy this color because it looks like this, and then it's a different shade. It's not like that. It's really great. So those are my favorites, and I do have one honorable mention um it would be i'm sure every one of you guys have heard of this the not your mother freak clean clean freak but it's a dry shampoo and it just it smells so good and i love it and the packaging come on that is so cute that is so cute i just i feel so clean when i put it on i just i like it I really do like it. Um, I was using a different dry shampoo and I really didn't want to change, but the dry shampoo that I was using, it, um, they spiked their prices up. It went from three to six dollars and I saw that and I was like, you know what, let me give it a try. So I did and I'm very happy that I did. Okay, so if you guys have any video requests for me to do, um, just comment down below and I definitely will try my best to do them. Um, if you guys want, I could do a tutorial on these galaxy nails that I did. Very sparkly. Hard to see. And that's it. So you guys have a great night. Bye.